Well, here we go on Tuesday, the 11th of September, 2012. I'll title this Howl September Notes. There, Pecorino's going to add his little toss to it. I'll start with September Muse. Late afternoon zephyrs stir the canopy, sifting glowing rays into diffusions of green, staged, staggered, stacked and spread upon a meadow in my eyes, in my head. Graced with close observation of the young male hawk, his slow turns backlit by September sun swinging on wings. These exquisite things and more make this day precious in peace. Cock cardinal challenges and is distant challenged in return. His song dominant in tone, it resonates through sunlit treetops and is carried on September-scented air to be shared by those who care for such things. He sings a softer soliloquy, unanswered, his plangent call to scarlet cuddle. A buzzard scores the sparse cloudy blue very high now, number two. Other avian singers are sounding off, and the cock cardinal has a player. Adieu. Silent, loud. Today's green not quite as green as green should be. That fall is poised to fall upon us, reason enough to see. Sienna tones a mingle midst, once very vibrant vert. As certain birds, one time abundant, now periphery skirt. In numbers less than normal for serious summer days. Yet twas a serious sun that rose, subtle through the haze. Of early indigo morning mist, heralded by cloud. Colors of blushing ivory hue, proclaimed in silent loud. That searing ball of fire, fierce to swelter sweating skin, Two days green with red did pierce, caused thought to go back in. Fortune favored those who made purpose to dwell in the shade. Woe found those who toiled without the fragrant zephyr glade. Wherein I pause to pen these lines, feeling fortunate indeed, As I await my turn beneath the burn, a fact of life, a thing of need. September Notes. Today's morning September vibrant. Cotton ball clouds caressed by soft early sun stand out from an azure background that silhouettes assorted avian adventurers. My paramount joy enjoys this morning somewhere near the Catskills, perhaps not concerned with sad history of this eleventh day eleven years ago. This past week heavy-handed harsh on the environment along with defenders alike, as radical righteousness rages ruinously with made-for-masses media mashing minds to mush. Handwriting on the wall of the future is a perplexing, highly unheeded warning in symphonies of sad songs soon to sing as Sirocco winds through sun-bleached skulls. Yet this sweet September morning harbors thought to big bats of baseball as they are beautifully banging their way to history. Those who remember these are blessed. And on a final note, a poem I wrote 11 years ago. I remember. I remember an elegant angel in black dress caressing thermals with arms wide, gliding past stories of windows dazed, gazing at reflections of clouds above, loving long last moments of lethal descent, spent serenely seeing a lifetime reeling, feeling it was well lived with no regret, getting close to the terminal point anointed in splendor of a September morn. Forlornly, I remember you, lady in black, back on a day that changed our world. Adieu.